Okay, looks like I actually deleted the other vlog, so anyways, my apologies. I'm back. Uh, I was in Orlando 16 hours ago, and now I'm back home in Houston. I drove, uh, <laughs> I drove 16 hours, almost, yeah, 16 hours straight from uh, Orlando to Houston, so I'm back home and safe and sound. Uh, I wanted to give you guys my quick impressions of uh, the final night of the Mae Young Classic tapings overall. The quality of the matches are really good, and I think you guys would be very much be surprised on the quality of these matches. Um, be on the lookout for any of the matches that involve Mikko Sotomura and uh, Io Shirai. Um, uh, some standout moments you guys have heard about the Tegan Knox getting injured, uh, re released by WWE uh, statement, and basically we saw it happen uh, during the tapings. It was uh, pretty intense, considering how quiet the audience was when they saw her, uh, kind of like a baby, not babying, but uh, nursing her, not nursing. Well, what's the Favoring her uh, her right knee or left knee, and uh, after a suicide dive, uh, and the match was cut short, and the uh, her opponent advanced because of the injury. Uh, so Tegan is out of the tournament. Unfortunate for her. She's spent the last year or so rehabbing her um, her injuries, and only to you know be injured again. Uh, but Triple H did come out, make an appearance to assure everyone that she'll be back on her feet in no time. Um, uh, overall, the matches were great, good to great. One really quick match uh, in the second round. And um, uh, also... Uh, there were two tag matches uh, buffered between the quarter and semifinal matches to give the wrestlers in those uh, matches uh, more time to rest up. Um, there was a six-woman tag and a, and a two-versus-two traditional tag. Uh, the two-versus-two tag was um, Jenny and Killer Kelly versus uh, uh, Ariel Monroe and surprise appearance by Candice LeRae. The six woman tag match was Vanessa Craven and Re Reina Gonzalez. Both women were six feet tall and they were led by Allison Kay uh, versus uh, Jesse Alaban and Zaya Brookside and MJ Jenkins, the babyface team. The six-woman tag was a really, really fun match to watch. Uh, at first, people were pretty tired. Not tired, but kind of exhausted. But uh, that six wo that six-woman tag really did help re-energize the audience and kind of reset everyone's mindset a little bit uh, as a buffer. Uh, very entertaining match. I think they'll probably show it during the uh, Bracketology. They did a really good job. Uh, I mentioned yesterday, on the not yesterday, but two days ago, that there was no chance to sign anyone uh, like they did for Jazzy Gabbard. But uh, this year, this second day, they did chant for Mia Yim to be signed. So when Triple H came out to do his uh, pep talk for the audience, uh, <laughs> people were chanting to him, uh, please sign Mia, please sign Mia. So uh, that was cool. Pretty cool moment. So Mia Yim was uh, one of the MVPs of the tournament for sure. She had a really really strong showing overall and uh yeah this year was a very solid year uh overall the matches were really really good uh compared to last year's matches so um i'm looking forward to seeing everyone's reaction to that uh, if you guys have any questions uh just type in the comments and i'll be happy to answer them and uh thank you for looking <laughs> for watching this slapdash quick uh ghetto vlogs 
Uh, yeah, I, I'm sorry. I did this in portrait. I usually do things in landscape, but eh, I'm holding. I'm using a phone to do this. So, anyways, hopefully the sound goes through clearly, and I hope you find these informative. But yeah, if you have any more questions, just put it in the comments, and I'll be more than happy to answer them. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Evil Doctor Tran. That's one word. Uh, e v i l d r t r a n, or just search Discozilla, one word, and uh, you you can pretty much. I don't tweet very much, but uh, but yeah, uh, talk to you guys later, and I hope you enjoy these vlogs, and uh, I will be uh, giving my reactions to the uh, May Young Classic tournaments uh, on September fifth, so. Uh, yeah, I'll give you my uh, audience perspective on what the audience was doing. Hey, Mar Peterson, how are you doing? <laughs> the first, the greatest guest right there. But uh, anyways, uh, I'm ending uh, the stream, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.